Hello everyone, welcome back here. My name is Scott and I'm continuing on with the uh, Los Diego series. <coughs> Sorry, I had to my throat. Um, part two for our Los Diego series and hopefully you watch the uh, first one and you learn how to use the proper English there. And I'm back here again with uh, four more um, Japanese English into the proper English. Now, I should say also, um, basing this on American English, so sometimes what I may say in American English may be different in British English, so I'll be aware of that, be careful about that. But it is not Japanese English, that's what I want to change over. In my case, I'm going to change it to uh, American English. One case is the, uh, the first one I'm going to use here, because it, in England it, it may have a different word. But in Japanese, they use a very cute um, baby car. It sounds cute, baby car, baby car. But unfortunately, in English, we don't have that same idea. So, baby car is out. And instead, um, in English, in American English, we use the word stroller, stroller. Now, the word stroll means to walk, and a stroller, you're walking as you're pushing your, your precious child in front of you. So, the baby car would be stroller, okay? Now, the word tram may come up, uh, that's British English usage, if they still use that. Um, it is, could be a little bit different. Buggy as well. Buggy is going to be British English usage as well. So I'm not here to uh, say that's wrong. I'm here to say that the American English for baby car is a uh, stroller. Okay? Why don't you repeat after me? That the, the R and L there as well. Stroller. Stroller. Okay? Stroller. Alright, that's the first one. Baby car equals stroller in American English. Uh, the next one is the um, the shirt that I'm wearing here today in this video, okay? Now, in, um, in Japan, you call this a white shatsu, okay? White is the idea of white, okay? Now, we don't say that because not all the shirts are going to be white, for one thing. So this type of shirt here with the long sleeves, could be short sleeves, the, I have a button-down collar. This is called a dress shirt in American English, maybe British English, so dress shirt. So white shirt, white shirt is out. And uh, dress shirt, okay. So why don't we repeat after me? Dress shirt, okay. They put it into a sentence. I, I need to pick up my dress shirt. Plural. I need to pick up my dress shirt at the cleaners. The cleaners, okay. That's the second one. Um, dress shirt. Uh, one more time. Dress shirt, okay. Now the uh, the next one is going to be. Um, Japanese uses English in this case, uh, but it sounds kind of nice. A uh, health meter. Health meter. Health being headers and meter being made up. So, health meter. Um, it's understandable to a certain degree. It's related to your health, um, but doesn't really say what it does. And it's basically it's a scale. A scale. So, a scale is used to weigh something. So, whether it's going to be fish or your body, we're going to use the word scale. Now, they may also, people may also say in America, bathroom scale, because you need to keep your own scale in the bathroom. But not health meter, uh, scale. And would you repeat after me? Scale. Scale. Alright? And if I put scale into a sentence, um, I got on the scale and I couldn't believe what I saw. That's not good. That means you probably gained weight. I got on the scale, I stood on the scale, and I couldn't believe what I saw. Okay? So the word Arbeit, Arbeito, actually means work in German, but not English. Maybe you say it to a German person, it's okay. But uh, it's a part-time job in English. Part-time job. So you don't say um, Arbeit, like pronunciation in German pronunciation. It's a part-time job. So, for example, my son has a part-time job at a burger shop. My son has a part-time job at a burger shop. Now, part-time can be any ages, but especially, you know, for students, it's a part-time job. But even if you're, you know, in your 20s, 30s, or 40s, it's still going to be a part-time job. So, Arbeito for, or Pato, they're both the same in English, it's going to be a part-time job. Okay, everybody? So let's go back to the beginning again. You repeat after me with a stroller. So I pushed my baby in the stroller. And then I had a, a dress shirt. 
Uh, my dress shirt has a coffee stain on it. And also, health meter would be scale, so a bathroom scale. Um, I need to get a new scale because the last one broke. And lastly, for the uh, our bike, our bike is a part-time job. Okay, everybody? Try to keep those words in mind next time you're using English. Try to keep off the Japanese and English and stick to English and English only. Thanks very much, everyone, for watching. Like below, comment below, subscribe. Appreciate it. See you back here again soon. Thanks very much.